And welcome back everybody to the University of Southern Mississippi as we continue to meet our Golden Eagle football coaches. Today we're going to spend some time with the quarterbacks coach and the offensive coordinator for the Golden Eagles, Shannon Dawson. Shannon's going to get us up to date on uh, what's going on in Golden Eagle football. And Shannon, first of all, welcome to Southern Miss. Uh, glad to have you here as a part of our football program and the Golden Eagles. Talk a little bit about your background. Tell everybody a little bit about where you've been uh, and how you wound up at, at Southern Miss. Well, I mean, my first job out of college was really at the school I played at, Wingate, and I coached there for a year. And then um, Coach Hal Mummy resurrected the Southeast program in Hammond, Louisiana, which was probably 30, 45 minutes from where I grew up. So I worked with him for about four to five years. I think it was about four and a half years. And then I was at Millsaps College in Jackson, Mississippi for two years as the OC there. Uh, Stephen F. Austin for three years as the OC there. And then Coach Hogerson got the West Virginia job, who's a guy that I played for years ago, and um, went up there with him, was with him for four years, and then obviously at Kentucky last year and then here. Talk about coming to Southern Miss. What was the connection with Coach Hobson? Was there a, a connection somewhere along the way where you guys crossed paths? Yeah, I mean, we've crossed paths on uh, some social events, AFCA convention throughout the years. Obviously, I knew who Coach Hobson was. He knew who I was, but... I mean, we didn't have any professional connection other than the defensive coordinator at West Virginia, Coach Gibson, who's a great friend of mine and a great friend of Coach Hobson's. And so they worked together on the Michigan staff and um, have, you know, stayed in contact and close relation over the years. And so when, when Coach Hobson got this job, you know, they were talking, obviously, and, uh, and my, my name came up and, you know, one thing led to another, and, and that's how it happened. Now, you grew up in Louisiana, so I'm sure you've been pretty familiar over the years with Southern Miss and the Southern Miss program. When you think of Southern Miss and the football program, what sort of, what stands out to you? Anytime, anywhere, any place, really. I mean, I grew up probably two, a little under two hours from here. I actually came here on a, a spring game uh, deal out of high school. It was really the first time I came here, watched the spring game as like a recruit. They wasn't really recruiting me too hard, but they just they they sent me a letter and uh, told me I could come visit. So, I mean, just basically the hard-nosed, uh, tough kid. You know, I mean, uh, great culture. This has been a uh, place over the years that they they don't shy away from playing anybody, and so it's really, you know, the culture of the program has been great. You mentioned a couple of the coaches you worked under, including uh, Coach Al Mummy. Mm -hmm. uh, he was kind of ahead of his time. I mean, sure. and, and a lot of the stuff I think you probably do or would like to do kind of maybe goes back to some of that stuff that you, you learned from Coach Mummy back in the day. Well, the blueprint of the offense hasn't really changed a whole lot. You know, I mean, we, if you look at how we lay out the pass game, you know, Coach Mummy and Coach Leach years ago went out to the West Coast and visited BYU and uh, Coach Walsh at the 49ers. And our blueprint hadn't, hadn't veered too much from that. Now we have put a lot more emphasis in the run game, being a little more physical. I mean, with Coach Mummy, I mean, we didn't hand it off too many times. And so uh, obviously we've evolved from that to being a little more balanced. But really our, our pass game, the routes and concepts hasn't, hasn't changed much throughout the years. You know, in baseball, they always say it's about the pitch, and in football, particularly offensive football, it all kind of starts with a quarterback. And you've, in, you've inherited a great one here at Southern Miss and Nick Mullins, who looks like he's, uh, you know, sort of adjusted very quickly from last year uh, to what you want to try to do this year, although there's not a lot of change. No. If you, if you pattern the, the flow of coaches to, you know, Coach Munkin from Oklahoma State to here, and Dana was at Oklahoma State before Coach Munkin was, and so when, when Todd got there, they kind of kept the terminology the same. And then when I flowed around and came here, it was funny. You know, I know Chip Lindsey very well, so I, I talked to him before taking the job. And, um, and when I got here, there was, I mean, I, I guarantee you 90% of the offense was called the exact same, you know. So, I mean, there was a bunch of carryover, which was big for Coach Hobson and having a senior quarterback. And I just promised Chip and those guys that I w I'd try not to mess Nick up too much, you know. Talk about Nick. What, what, what's impressed you about Nick and uh, the kind of leader he is, the kind of quarterback he is? Well, I can tell you he's as good as advertised. You know, you, you th I talked to those guys prior to even having one conversation with Nick, and everybody, you know, talks about his football IQ and his ability to um, process defenses quickly. And I tell you, I mean, one thing that, that really separates him is the, the love of the craft. You know, I mean, you – you know, I've been around a lot of quarterbacks, and typically if I have a good one, I'm a pretty good coach. And typically if I don't, I'm not a very good coach. You know, and that's just the way it goes with offensive football. But he does have a passion for, for trying to get 
as good as he can get, you know. I mean, there, there's just certain people that have that, you know, passion for their craft that really want to, like a sponge, they, they want to they wanna learn as much as they can. And so he definitely loves what football can do, not, not necessarily what football can do for him, but he loves football, you know. In the, in the four or five months that you've been here, and you've been through spring practice, you're going through some of the summer workouts, on the offensive side of the football, what do you like about the makeup of the offensive football team here at Southern Miss? It's a pretty mature cerebral group, really. I mean, even, you know, Ido asked a bunch of questions, you know, even at the running back spot, which I've never really had that over the years, you know. I mean, it's typically a lot of those positions are just tell me what I need to do, you know. A lot of these guys want to know where they fit in, you know. I mean, I'm not talking about where they fit in personally, where they fit into the scheme. Like, where, this play is designed, but why, you know. And so there's been a lot of whys, you know, with, um, you know, Cam's a, a guy that's played a lot of football, so, I mean, when you talk to him, you're talking to a guy that has a, a different level of intelligence than most people, and he does the same way. And a lot of it, it might trickle down from Nick, I don't know, but a lot of them have the same personality, you know, where they don't talk a whole lot, they think a whole lot, you know, and they, they want to know why, you know, which is in my, you know, where I'm sitting, that's a good thing. Yeah, you mentioned Nick Mullins, you got to have a good quarterback, but you mentioned Cameron Tom. Yeah. Uh, he's a guy who's kind of the quarterback of that offensive line who makes a lot of the calls and, you know, is one of the leaders of that offensive football team. Well, our offense, I mean, for the, you know, for how many ever years we've done it, we've put a lot on the center. You know, the center gets us in and out of protections, kind of take that off the quarterback, which some offenses put it on the quarterback. So that center for us is, I mean, he, he, he basically touches the ball every play, and so he's probably the most important guy in our offense. He gets us set protection-wise, run game-wise. He gets us targeted up. He controls a lot of the cadence, especially in loud environments. So, you know, he's an invaluable, invaluable um, cog in the whole deal, no doubt, and blessed to have Cam and Nick, obviously, for one more year. Good number of guys back from last year at yeah. uh, in the offensive line. A good core of running backs back. Uh, some experienced wide receivers. What are you looking forward to when August gets here and you guys are finally starting to get ready for the season? You know, I mean, we got we do have a good core group of guys back, but we also have some key elements that haven't played a lot of football. And so, really, just seeing how they grow over the summer. You know, I mean, the one great thing about having a quarterback like Nick is I don't have to worry about whether they're going out there because a lot of the summers organized in such a way where they have to do it on their own. Well, having a guy like Nick, I don't have to worry about whether they're getting that work in or not. And so really what I'm looking forward to is, is I know what happened in the spring. We got some young receivers and new receivers, some JUCO kids that need to develop. I'm looking to see how their development over the summer has been, which I have a feeling has been pretty good. I was going to say, look out the, the window here and you see them out there working here yeah, in the no summer and, and working really hard. And I know yesterday when I was uh, near your office, you've got the quarterbacks in there going over stuff. So a lot of stuff, it's nice now that you can do a lot of that stuff in the summer that a few years ago you couldn't do. Yeah, they wouldn't let us um, do anything a few years ago. Basically, the coaches just went on vacation. You know, we couldn't even... Technically, you couldn't walk through the weight room and see the guys, and now they've arranged it in such a way where we can have some time with them, which I think is, is highly beneficial. But even saying that, the time that they have away from us, to me, is the most valuable because that's where you gain advantages. If you have mature guys, they go out and get stuff done. If you have immature guys, you know, you're, you're wasting time. We talked about uh, Coach Hobson earlier. You'd never, uh, I guess, worked uh, directly with him, but he's put together a really good staff of guys who sort of have that feel for what it's like and what you got to do at Southern Miss to be successful. There's no doubt. I mean, when he, when he looked at putting this staff together, obviously as coordinators he looked at scheme, you know, especially, I mean, he hadn't worked with me before, so I mean, he wanted to get a guy in place that had, that had the scheme that he wanted. And, uh, but regionally, having the you know a recruiting base is important to him too and so me being from south louisiana was was obviously something he looked at but if you look at everybody how everybody is interconnected you know when we hired jack you know I mean, his roots are in mississippi soil like none other and so he definitely looked at it as far as a recruiting base as much as anything else and so i mean every we have a lot of knowledge of each other even uh, tony you know, I've met Tony 15 years ago on the road when I was coaching at Millsaps when he was at Weber International, and we kept in contact. So it's funny how, how time goes and, and you come full circle. Summer's going to go fast, but I, you got to be excited for it finally to get here and start this 2016 season. No, I am. I mean, there, there's a – whenever the summer gets here, it's a good timing because you do need some time to kind of decompress. 
but I don't need much time. You know, you get antsy after a while, and so we're, we're ready to get going. Shannon, great to uh, have you again here at Southern Miss. Thanks for giving us a few minutes and giving our fans a chance to meet you a little bit up close and personal. So look forward to the season. So keep up the good work, and uh, we'll see you when the season gets here. Appreciate it. Well, once again, glad to have you with us, everybody. We will see you soon with another uh, interview with one of our brand-new members of our Golden Eagle coaching staff. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time here from the campus of Southern Miss. Thank <laughs> you.